feel like I'm getting like party advice from one of the best party throwers. Well, that's kind of true. Yeah. <laughs> We're two MVPs when it comes to throwing one hell of a party. And tonight's theme is New Year's Eve. I've seen some of those parties that you've thrown at Bluestone Manor and I'm ready to give you a run for your money. So I challenge you to a Sunday setup, New Year's Eve style. I accept. Okay, so DirecTV has challenges for us. Invitation design, tablescaping, and of course, turning on and programming your DVR to record the ball drop. Let's get started. Okay. I'm gonna start with the tablescaping. Do you tend to go to your families for holidays or do you have holidays at your house? I like hosting. New Year's Eve, I try to switch it up every year. I wanna see who you're inviting to your New Year's Eve hmm. dinner party. First person, my dear friend, Maya Allen. We, did we, order. we ordered food. You did? Yeah. Did you have a bite? No. And when it's the two of us together, you just really never know where we're gonna end up at the end of the night, and I love that. Next person I would invite, Vanita Aspen. She's got great style. I love her style. She's great. And then, I can't believe I'm saying this, but my good friend, Craig Conover. Oh my goodness, wow! Hello, my queen. By the way, Craig's here. Oh, hell. <laughs> so, this is beautiful. Now, why did you choose this? I like earthy tones, and then candles, because you need candles in the center of a and table. And I love the fact that it looks so natural and flowing. Thank you. How beautiful. I feel like I'm getting like party advice from one of the best party throwers. Well, that's kind of true. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how artsy I can get with you, this. I think I'm learning from you. Yes, okay. I am very, Handing very you your snack. Impressed. Look at this. All right. So on a scale from one to 10, how are we feeling about this work of art? I am very impressed. You get a 10. I mean, the easiest part was setting up the Genie remote and programming my DVR. The tablescape came a little bit harder, but... I think you did a great job. Well, I... I'm excited to see what you come up with. Well, I'm gonna do my best to make it nice. Let's do this. I think I'm gonna do a crisscross. So that's gonna be our center. Okay. I think I'm gonna take one of these bowls, put this a little glue in here. For Bluestone Manor, we'll set this up. Oh, top. you gotta have a little representation of right. Bluestone. Wow, okay, this okay. is an idea. Right. Who are you inviting to your party? Well, it's New Year's Eve, and I think it's very important to have some fun people. Yeah. I think I'm gonna invite Martha Stewart. The first thing you'll need is a shank. I made mine out of a pintail comb and a pack of gum. Oh my God, she's elegant, she's class. One of my favorite girls, Phaedra Park. Okay, all right. What made you think the lady was a lesbian? Her eyebrows. <laughs> Jesus, take me there. So an Atlanta girl. Lastly, I think I'm gonna invite Andy Cohen. Boss man in the house. You can't have a party come? without the boss. I guess I gotta make the appetizer. Make a nice design, get it all over the place. I, I want to lick up all that basilic. Right? I love a caprese, don't you? It's just so simple and effortless, and it's always good. Here you go. You really impressed me with this I'm going to add two more candles for a little more light. And we are ready to sit down and watch TV. For Sunday setup, I was able to program my Genie remote for all our programs to watch on our DVR. Yep, now we can snack and eat. That's it. Think you have better event planning skills than us? Drop a comment and tell us how you host a New Year's Eve party. And never miss an excuse to plan a watch party. Make it nice? Exactly. 